Okay, I don't know a lot about tractors, but I'm pretty sure that's not what was supposed to happen. Right here. Did you even look at the instruction manual before you just started doing stuff? No. That's how you get broken tractors, Michael. Did you look at the instruction manual when you bought your truck? Yes, actually, I did. Well, that's ridiculous. Now I'm going to try to fix it. Mm. Go get your duct tape and a hammer. Today is day one of us having our Kubota tractor, and I was just making some pasta salad for uh, Sunday lunch tomorrow, but um, they're out front picking pears, I think, with our tractor. Let's see. Pretty sure this is not OSHA approved, but I mean, I guess it gets the job done. We just bought a $30,000 fruit plucker. Yeah. Now we can pick all the uh, pears that are higher in the tree. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, Go team. Hey guys, welcome back to Three Mississippi. Sid. Frankie. I almost said Mike. I'm so used to it being Sid, Mike, Frankie. Yeah. Well, we've got our third tractor, a Kubota. And uh, today we're going to see how long it takes for Mike to break it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This will be interesting. Mm -hmm. Let's just say I'm glad we got the extra insurance policy on it. Mm -hmm. We are so excited today. We have our plethora of tractors and we are gonna be using the Kubota from Chickasaw Equipment to start leveling out the ground that we are prepping to start building our Fort Phlox. Let's get her done. Let's go. So the other day we started prepping this area that was the previous owner's garden and we burned it. We had put some old moving boxes, cardboard laid out flat here to prep the ground for garlic, but when we realized that this was actually the perfect spot that we needed to start for the chicken coop because it was level-ish versus a slope on the other side of the fencing there, we realized this was a better spot for the coop. So we have to get this graded out with the tractor and Mike has been practicing all morning, kind of getting the feel of the Kubota a little bit because it's very different than the Ford uh, 3000. And he is ready now to start getting this torn apart, get the, the wood on the outer edges and the cinder blocks ripped out so that he can level this entire area and get it ready for my birds. What are you doing? Taking a drink of water. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Are you sure it's just water? Want to smell it? Smell my breath. <sighs> Woo! Brush your teeth. I did. <laughs> are you ready to get to work, buddy? I've been working. I don't know where you've been, but really? we've been doing all kinds of stuff. Uh-huh. See, and you've been inside. Oh my goodness. I was editing video this morning for tomorrow's video. Like I was sitting around eating mom mons these two. You were outside doing real work. <sighs> I can't win. 
I also took care of the birds and the animals this morning. And then I made pasta salad and dip for Sunday lunch tomorrow. I do. I want a gold star and a cookie. We need to figure out where oh, we're going to move this dirt to. Well, I thought you were going to move it to where you were going to plant your garden. That we don't know the answer to. Hmm. So, where are you thinking you were going to put it? Well, I mean, the easiest place to put it would be this flat spot right here on the other side of the fence. Okay. That's a good spot. And it'll, it'll coexist with the chicken part of next spring. Right. But chickens aren't going to really mess with garlic, so no. that shouldn't be a problem. No, it's not like, you know, lettuce or anything. So I almost feel like we should, we should pull this wire down so that we can drive the tractor through here. We'll probably put up another fence at some point. Actually, you know what? Yeah, we should do that because when I start picking up buckets of dirt and moving them, I can go around and dump them. I should go around and dump them. You know how long it's going to take That's to tear what the I'm fence thinking. down and rebuild it? Put it back up. I'll go around and dump them. I'm glad we had this talk. Just had to work that out. Mm -hmm. So what we'll do is we'll come through between that elderberry that's not looking so pretty good <laughs> and this, I don't know, iris? I have no idea, I what, have that no idea what that is. We'll come between these two and just drop the logs over the fence and make a pile right there of everything that we pull out of here. And then, then we'll have to position the logs. That's gonna take like labor. And then we can start moving the dirt and getting the dirt out of there and dumping it over here. What do you think of that? Me? Yeah. You're the other part of this equation. Well, uh, I don't really have a choice, so. That is accurate. <laughs> But you occasionally have good ideas. I was just fishing I've, for one right there, but you didn't have one. I've, your idea sounds fine to me. I don't have anything. The garden isn't as much my thing as it is yours, so. Well, remember, we're not doing this for the purpose of the garden. We're doing this for the purpose of leveling out the spot where the chickens are going to be. We just only want to move stuff once. So that okay. stuff has to get out of the way. Yeah. And we're picking up garlic seeds tomorrow. Wait, I thought you said that the chicken coop was going to be over there. So what are you... What? Okay, whatever. Can we just start... <laughs> chicken coop somewhere over here. I've been lied to. <laughs> let's start picking up all the pieces of metal and the cages and everything. And let's put those... For now, you see that corner down there that's kind of sloped away? Yeah. Let's just start piling them all down there. Yeah. Because I'm not going to use that spot for anything right now. That's where I've been putting compost. What's that? Metal doesn't really burn. It got hot. Like, did that, like... I mean, some metal does. That, that would be a class Delta fire if you want to have a science class. You can call me stupid Yes, you can call me a sheep You can say I'm lazy You can say I'm weak You think that using her would get to me And if you're right then you're in trouble D Cause I won't break, no I know I won't wait You're in trouble D When it comes to her, you better keep it sealed. Don't you dare say a single word, or I will strike you where it feels. You think that using her would get to me, and if you're right, then you're in trouble, D. Hey, hold on.
Move that, Frankie, go away. You're in the danger zone of him flinging it at you. Okay, I don't know a lot about tractors, but I'm pretty sure that's not what was supposed to happen. Bad right here. Yeah. It just keeps falling off, right? No, this is bad. What's bad? This. Oh yeah, that's crooked. Jacked up. Are we sure? I'm pretty sure that's not good. There's a, there's a, like a welded piece. I, I know what yeah, you're that's like crooked across the front. That's an optical illusion because you're standing behind it. All I know is the, the end result shouldn't be the bucket coming off or the forks coming off in the field uh, when we're moving stuff. That was not part of the deal. So we got to figure this out. This could put a cramp in some things for today uh, because if we got a tractor that we can't use implements on, uh, we're going to have to <laughs> have to deal with that. Um, which means we can't do the work we wanted to do with the tractor today. So that's a bummer. That might set us back like another week or so. So let's figure it out. Yeah, this is this is off now. Good job. So you just got these rest of these metal these out. T posts. Yeah, you won't be able to get those out by yourself. Those and those those are like really thin rebar. Yeah. Almost like I don't know. That but this came out. He got this out. and He got the other side out. Over on that side. You should call Daniel. Yeah, and then you listen to know. him laugh for the next five minutes. <laughs> right. Go get my phone, Frankie. <laughs> you haven't even had it a full 24 hours yet, and you already done broke it. I got two hours. Two hours broke it. Good job. Broke my tractor in the first two hours. That's that's its own video. How long does it take Mike to break a tractor? Well, I figure I got three of them. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's why we needed all the spares now we know you wanted to know why i need three tractors this is why i need two spares so i can break them oh man do i even have daniel's phone number Somebody. if you don't i think i do i don't but i have ryan he's about to laugh at me guess what ryan i just broke my tractor 
So, uh, Brian just texted me. Last three minutes of the state game in the stadium. Call you when I get out. <laughs> so we're taking a three minute union break. <laughs> and I'm gonna go Google this and see if I can figure it out. So, what I know for sure is that the before that happened, when I picked up the log earlier, I did not have the forks latched on correctly. So when I when I locked them down, I had the forks sitting on the ground. So the pins that shoot out the bottom that are supposed to lock them from the bottom didn't engage with anything. So now the forks were sitting on those against those pins instead of the pins being through the bottom. So they were just they were just resting on this edge right here. Right, pulling on the arm. Right. So then once I um and that was after I that was after it fell off the first time over here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then I fixed, I, I thought I fixed it, but I didn't get it leveled Hot out. being the keyword. So then when it fell off the second time, at one of those points, when the load got uneven, the hydraulics wound up. Getting cranky. Getting out of sync. So I have one hydraulic arm that's slightly longer than the other, which has the whole front end wanky. It's a good thing we got that uh, insurance policy on this sucker, huh? Well, I figure. <laughs> There's a way I to mean, fix I that. I mean, I didn't figure you were going to break it the first day, but, uh, but I'm, I feel, I feel like I was up to the challenge, mm -hmm. um, you know, to, to put, to put this thing through its paces and work it as hard as I could work it. Mm -hmm. Um, and sometimes when you don't know how to properly use something, you can work it harder than it's supposed to be worked. Did you even look at the instruction manual before you just started doing no. stuff? That's how you get broken tractors, Michael. Did you look at the instruction manual when you bought your truck? Yes, actually, I did. Well, that's ridiculous. You also noticed that I haven't broken my truck yet. Just saying. I'm going to go. Do Google I get to this. say I told you so now? You never told me I was going to break it. Well, that's not the point. The point is <laughs> that you did. <laughs> the point is that I did. I broke it. Now I'm going to try to fix it. Hmm. Go get your duct tape and a hammer. There has to be some, um, there has to be some, um, some way to bleed the hydraulic on one side. Does there? Because I feel like this is probably a you problem and not a like this happens all the time problem. So I don't know. I feel like that's, <laughs> <laughs> like, I feel like. I don't know. Most But people... I want to talk to this chief inspector that passed this. Okay. Well, he didn't That's make it mic proof. To. Go Google. Yeah, I'm gonna Google. Go Google. We're taking a break. Poor tractor. Hey, oh, Miranda, I can't believe he broke you already. I haven't even gotten to ride you yet. Miranda. It already happened. She likes me better anyway. I didn't break her. You didn't even drive her. Exactly. She likes me better. That's true. So a lot of things can go wrong when you're uh, learning how to use a new piece of equipment, right? Yeah. Fair enough. Um, we did not anticipate this going this wrong. With Miranda. With Miranda so quickly. Uh, literally two hours in the seat running time so far. And some of that was actually Frankie using yes. it. For the record, Frankie did not break it. I did a good job. She did a really good job. Miranda likes me more though. Miranda does like her more. I think Miranda might not be speaking to Michael. Oh my God, they killed Kenny! You bastard! Michael, what did you do to your brand new tractor? <laughs> I broke it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I thought that maybe the hydraulic cylinders got out of sync uh, from putting a little too much pressure on one side. Uh, and the too much pressure on one side thing did happen. I am gonna have to go back and watch the video to see when it all went south. But the forks, the pallet forks were not properly on, first of all. Uh, second of all, I was coming at it from an angle, so I was putting more pressure on one side than on another. I know that for a fact, which I didn't think was a problem, but it was. Somewhere within there, everything went bad. <laughs> and I didn't realize it was bad until, see the, until I went to, to throw the log over the fence and I threw the whole pallet fork over the fence. If you turned that fork out to pasture is what you did. <laughs> right. 
after doing some Googling and trying to figure out how to resync the hydraulic cylinders, I can't <laughs> because I broke it too, too properly. What I've actually done is this connecting rod between the two arms, I've bent it, okay? This big piece of steel that connects this arm and this arm, do you, can you see that? Oh yeah. That paint on that weld? So I've bent this. Yeah, it's cracky, right here. Cracky McCrackerson. So this is gonna be a dealer only repair, and it's. I don't think it's gonna be a very simple repair. It's gonna require some. It's gonna require some welding and some grinding and. Uh, I think short of getting this thing underwater, you broke it. I think probably the most. Uh, like yeah i feel like i i mean if if my goal was how <laughs> how fast can i break this tractor and how broken can i get it uh look i can still use a box blade so it still runs the motor's good mm. the three-point hitch and pto are good i just can't put a bucket on it right now and my pallet forks that I threw out in the pasture are gonna stay there. They're gonna stay there until we get this thing fixed. Yeah. So uh, I can see them. They're right there. Yeah, yeah. We got two hours in the seat on this thing, and we're sending it back to the dealer for a relatively major repair. Um, yeah, that's. So this is a what not to do, guys. Don't buy a tractor and take no lessons and read no manuals and just assume that you can do a bigger job on it than you currently are skilled to do. I probably should have done some really simple stuff with this initially. I dove in and said, let's move these logs and let's tear, and, and instead of tearing up what I meant to tear up, I tore up the tractor. So that's how you do it. So. That's, that's, how, that's, how you, that's how you do things wrong is, uh, Try to do stuff you don't know how to do. So now your new nickname is the Man of Steel for the wrong reasons, because you managed to bend the steel. Yep. I'm sorry, Miranda. And Will's gonna just like he's gonna tear you he's up. He's gonna tear me up. He's gonna say, "Why'd you buy a Kubota? That wouldn't have happened to a John Deere, brother. I could break a John Deere. <laughs> I believe I believe in my heart. I could break any tractor right now." With the low level of skill that I have and the high level of let's just go do stuff, I could break any tractor. I broke this one for sure. Hey, sometimes we show you uh, how to do cool stuff. Sometimes we show you what not to do. This was 100% a what not to do video. Don't do this with your brand new Kubota. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Don't forget to click the like button, the like button, hit the like button. Hit the bell so you get the notifications next time we post a video. Hopefully that one will be of something uh, more productive than this. <laughs> Don't break your tractor. But if you do, make sure you have a spare. <laughs> <laughs> or two. <laughs> Frankie, you want to go break the bush hog? Come on. <laughs> oh, good grief. Oh my god! They killed Kitty!